Folks, I'm pleased to introduce you, uh, Reverend Mariama. Most of you have probably known her by now, but uh, we're really pleased that she's standing with us in this fight. And uh, can't be more pleased to have her with us today. So I um, took the 34 to get here. <laughs> I uh, live near the 16. It was running a little late, so I missed the 35. And as I was on the bus um, coming here, you know, most of the other folks on the bus were on their way to work in Dedham, maybe on the way to visit a family member in jail in Walpole. And I, I recognize how it's highly likely that most of the other folks on the bus had no idea that we were riding over a pipeline. And as I came down the street, you know, they actually have patched up the road and it looks nice and new, unlike many of our roads that have just a, you know, a little bit more wear and tear on them. And as I walked past different places, I thought of all the different rallies that we've had when the pipeline was open in front of one house or down the street in front of another place. And um, even though the road looks nice and new as if there's nothing wrong, I cannot deny that there's something very dangerous underneath that road. And really over the last year, I think Many of us have seen things that we thought were buried, things that we thought were gone, resurface in our country in some powerful and some challenging ways. I guess my challenge to us today is really to not let that slick and shiny new road make us forget why we're here. Some of us remember when there, that was a lot just full of trees over there. And now even though they put some structures around it and they just finished soldering one piece of the fence, we know that that m and station really stands for something that is deeper and more deadly than we would like to admit. So I am committed to still fighting. I know that you all are here because you are committed to still fighting. But what is most important in this moment is that we stay awake. This fight has awakened us to something that maybe we already knew in our hearts, but it was easy to just keep going on with our lives and to keep looking past it and hoping that somebody else would step up. This neighborhood, this community, this city, this state, people from all around have stepped up and they pushed back against what is a behemoth company that thought that they could just do this without any resistance. Ironically, when we started this fight, we were dealing just with Spectra. But in the last few months, in fact, in September, Spectra merged with Enbridge, and so now we are fighting the same company that they're fighting in Standing Rock. Right. 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 It is a reminder to us what we have often forgotten, which is that we are all connected. That we cannot allow some people to be sacrificed for the benefit of the few. And so whether this pipeline is turned on or not, for me, I know that I, when I am here, I am standing on holy ground. Because it is in this space that we have stood together, that we have fought together, that we have listened to each other, and we have been in solidarity. We have celebrated religious holidays in this space, all of us who were trying to fit into our Sukkot <laughs> shelter. We have built community. And that community is not just about resistance. That community is also about fighting for the kind of world that our grandchildren can live in and look back and know that we handed it to them in better shape than we got it. Yeah. Yeah. And so I know 
that as Bill's granddaughter grows up, she will hear stories of this time and stories of this struggle. The moment that we awoke and we refused to become silent. And so I want to just say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be a part of this. And thank you for all the continued struggle that we will face as we continue to fight back on this deathly way of living. Many of you know Spectra is not done. They are already planning their next set of pipelines. And what is exciting to me is that I know that when the next trench opens up, I will be able to be in it with many of you still pushing back. Still and when we do it, we will find new people in our city coming alive, new people waking up, new people joining this fight of resistance. So today I celebrate who we are, what we've done, and where we're going. The struggle continues.